if you're just joining us now, um, you might want to check out our first video on the Thermo where I unboxed it and overviewed it, showed you how to set it up. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you use it on a few different people. And um, in a future video, we'll rigorously test this thing. Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick test of this thermometer. And you're not going to get the same measurements as you get from an oral or any other type of measurement because this is a skin measurement. It can still tell you when you have a fever, but um, the temperature won't be the exact same. But what I'm looking for is consistency. So I'm going to do two tests, one here and then one here. And I'm looking for those two numbers to be the same. I'm not doing the slide across thing. I found the right spot. I'm going to put it here and um, I'm going to put it right on my skin for accuracy. So here's one. And uh, 96.7. And now to the other side, do the same thing. And uh, 97.2. A little bit off. I'm going to try it again. Now, 97.0. And one more time here. 96.7 so the two here were similar to each other and the two here were similar to each other uh, Withings would probably say I've done this measurement wrong and I should do the slide thing but I found that I was getting uh, extremely different results every time I slid it because I was a slightly different um, distance from my head and maybe I wasn't getting the same spot. This is how I find I get the most consistent results by sticking um, it in one spot here. And what I also found 96.8, so again, pretty much the same. I did before heat up my head with some hot water um, and then dry it off and tried it and it was reading over 100, so it can definitely tell you when the temperature is too high. Now I'm going to go try this out on some other family members and see if we can get similar consistent results. So here's Tech Mama, and we're going to do two measurements, one on this side. So tech Baby knows that she's next. So it's 97.5, not bad. And we'll do the same thing on this side here. 97.5 so that looks consistent and next up we got tech baby okay so now I've got tech baby here and I'm gonna do a couple measurements on her and try to just get the same spot each time and so there's a 97.3 and we'll do another one here 97.2 she's getting a bit worked up there so we're just gonna put the pacifier in and we're gonna take those measurements from the other side now. 97.6, and same spot, 97.6. So it's looking pretty accurate. It's a much easier way to measure temperature on a newborn, very quick. Don't need to stick something in their armpit and um, pretty, pretty um, consistent. And being so easy to take measurements, you can even do it when your baby's sleeping, which is really great because um, sometimes you need to get that temperature and it's easy if you don't need to disturb them. So just a quick look at the app. Um, so here I am in the Thermo app and what it does is it allows you to, firstly, you can edit each user. Um, you can also go into the settings and do a few things. For example, you can choose if you're connected to the health app, which allows you to sync with your other health information, which is pretty important. It allows you to get some, some useful information. Um, it tells you all about how to scan, how to clean the thermometer, how to, how to use it. it, tells you a little bit about fevers. You can look into all this info. And um, you can also use this to edit the settings of your thermometer. So for example, here's the temperature. So you can change, um, you can change the temperature setting from Celsius, sorry, from Fahrenheit to Celsius, which is what I'd like to do because that's what, what we use here. 
uh, you can choose the other um, the other measurement units. One other thing to note is that this thing runs on batteries and when your battery dies, um, of course that's something that you can see um, in the app. So here's the app and when I go to my thermometer, um, I could see that there's 84%. Now when that dies and runs out of battery, you're gonna wanna open this, this thing here. So it's just, it's closed with a magnetic, uh, it's just closed with a little magnetic, whatever it's called, it's kinda hard to hold this with one hand, uh, to do this with one hand, but you essentially just open this up, and you replace those, um, which are, AAA batteries. So pretty simple to do. Then when you're done, you just back like that and snap it in. Ready to go. Thanks for joining me on the tech couch for this new thermometer gizmo, um, the Wythings Thermo. And I uh, hope to see you in the next one. Take it easy.